Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of June 1st through the 15th, 2017. Um, I have already shuffled and cut the cards, so we'll go ahead and begin. Um, but also, for those of you that might be curious, um, uh, this is a new tarot deck I'm using from Astrology Answers website. Um, and I believe it's called the Master Tarot Deck. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And also, guys, keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully they do. Um, hopefully they bring clarity uh, to many of you watching and cross-watching. Okay, so um, the heart of the situation, we have the Page of Wands, Temperance, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, Hanged Man, Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Okay, so Virgos, if there was some sort of breakup, I'm feeling like maybe you guys are trying to reconcile something, trying to work things out, trying to connect. Um, but for some of you, I feel like you're developing a gift and that is the gift of intuition, uh, what do you call it? Mediumship, telepathy, um, dream interpretation. Like I feel like you're working on some sort of spiritual things, spiritual gifts. Um, for some of you, you may have been dreaming about someone. It's almost like for some of you, I feel like there is somebody that you've been dreaming about that you're really attracted to and you feel like this person is your twin flame because you haven't met them, but they, they keep showing up in your dream. It's like a reoccurring dream. Um, and you're learning how to communicate with them or you feel as if you guys are actually communicating with one another. Um, you know, even though this person, you have not, I'm not gonna say they don't exist, but so far it's just been on a spiritual realm. Um, for others, you guys just have really been connecting with someone that you have some sort of spiritual connection to. You may be talking to a Sagittarius, um, Aries or a Leo. Um, but there is something that you're not clear about. There is something that you're trying to clear up. Uh, I don't know if, even though you're attracted to this person on a spiritual level, is somewhere between the lines of having an affair or just kind of being tempted or seduced or something. I'm seeing like having some sort of confusion here with the Seven of Cups. Um, not really being sure of what your deepest desires are or what it is you truly want. I feel like you're trying to understand something that is not making sense. It's like an illusion. For some of you, um, excuse me, sorry, it could very well be spell work like trying to cleanse yourself or trying to clear up some illusion or someone is trying to do some sort of spell work on you, trying to cloud your judgment or put up smoke screens. Um, almost like an attraction spell, I want to say. Either you could be creating an attraction spell or someone is doing that to you. Um, but I, either way, I'm still seeing like you having, being tempted by something. Should I do it? Should I not? 
And then again, it goes back to some of you that are trying to interpret some sort of dream that you had. And it's just strictly something spiritual. Um, okay, so there's going to be some sort of communication or an opportunity can is going to present itself that allows you to communicate with someone but because let's see here I don't know I just kind of feel like you're up in the air about it or you're just kind of waiting or in suspense about something um Almost like someone's calling you or someone texts you or sent you a message, but you didn't respond. Uh, you're still just kind of unsure for whatever reason. For some of you, I just kind of feel like you're being spiritually awakened. Uh, I feel like you have been doing some meditation, possibly isolating yourself and just trying to get things from a different perspective or you see you're seeing something in a new light uh, I feel like you're being awakened or enlightened about something you're getting some sort of new knowledge about something and then I'm just gonna go back to that whole spiritual thing I feel like it, it has something to do with with your psychic development with the hanged man being here this is some sort of psychic development that you're just discovering that you have some sort of ability or something um and you've been having some sort of dreams too i feel like you you may have also been um using different forms of escapism such as uh, smoking or you know drugs or alcohol uh, if it's not you then you know someone around you or your partner one of your friends or something because I'm seeing all this socializing and also the hangman for me is some form of um, escapism and it could be if it's not drugs or alcohol alcohol again it could be um, meditation just you know doing a lot of meditating and focusing and trying to recharge your batteries from something. I feel like you're trying to recharge. Um, if you haven't been socializing uh, by the middle of the week, you possibly will be socializing with friends. But something is bothering you like you feel like you're kind of stuck somewhere it's funny I had like made a meme about this but it's kind of like you're stuck somewhere where you feel like you don't really belong you don't really feel like socializing not saying that you feel like you're above your friends but you feel like you're a you have elevated from that lifestyle you're on a different level now but yet you're not like so far up that you're like a, a guru or something but you know it's like you're in some sort of weird spot or weird place you know and I, I just kind of feel like your thoughts are getting the best of you or something that you're stressing about Again, it can go back to that reoccurring dream. Some, something's keeping you up at night. Like you keep having these thoughts or these doubts or a sight too. You could be under spiritual attack. I don't know if you're hearing laughter. Uh, you keep hearing someone laughing at night or you keep dreaming about something over and over again. Um, something that happened in the past, but I feel like you're having some sort of sleep disorders due to your anxieties. I feel like your anxieties are acting up or something. Um, also it's like you're not wanting to deal with some sort of past issues 
and every time I mean it's like you can't get away from it it's something that keeps presenting itself to you and I feel like you need to face these fears because we have the nine of swords facing the nine of wands here this is both talks the nine is speaking about something happening within um and this is also about doubts for some of you a, a spiritual attacks like I said I feel like you could be a medium and maybe you're or empath actually like you're tapping into other people's energies or thoughts and it's driving you nuts like you don't know where these thoughts are coming from and it's, it's just driving you crazy you think it's your own but you're like but is it but you know these are it's just air it's just spirit you know s s something could be trying to urge you or push you to do something that you don't want to do as well and it has something to do with your past because this is also being just surrounded by your own inner fears or doubts or insecurities um, and, and your emotions. And I feel like you feel like you're under attack. Uh, if not by an outside force, then um, like spirits, then your own inner voice, your own guilt or shame. Um, but it's something that you're waking up to. It's staring you right in the face. It's like I'm not going anywhere. These past issues are just staring you in the face. And you feel like you can't get away with, from it. If you're in a relationship, I just kind of feel like, you know, there's some... Um, If you're in a relationship also on the downside, it could be you could keep having some sort of dream about an affair or a third party and you're wanting to confront your partner. I think they know that you're going to confront them, but they and they're ready for you to say something. They could have purposely been trying to get caught or leave clues because they could want out of the relationship for whatever reason. Uh, some, but it's something a little uh, weird going on with that. Mm. And I do feel like you're going to have some clarity about some dream that you had. I feel like you're having several dreams or a lot of dreams, but one of them I feel like you're going to have some clarity about. Uh, by the second week, I feel that you are going to be walking away from a situation that, you know, you feel like you're not growing from it or, you know, something that you got to let go of. And um, I feel like you're moving on from something, even though it hurts you, even though you're still sad or depressed or you don't really want to do it. I just kind of feel like you're, you're, you're just you like, I feel like I have to, I have to let this go. Um, so it's like you're walking away from someone. There's a void in your heart, like, or some sort of emotional void that you're experiencing. It's not the life for you. It's not the person for you. Something's missing in your life. And I feel like you're going on a search for it. You're in search of something, in search of truth. Yeah, you're like a truth seeker. You know, so for many of you, I do feel like you're having some sort of spiritual um, awakening or just kind of some sort of spiritual experience. And you might feel like you're alone in your battle. Uh, even if you are partnered with someone, it's like they don't understand or something. It's like something that you just have to deal with um, on your own. And some of you may have some past issues about abandonment as well. Someone may have abandoned you. Remember, uh, this reading can go either way. So whatever I'm saying that you're doing, remember, you can also switch it if it's not resonating. This could be what your partner is going through or doing to you. Um, I'm feeling like you may have to defend yourself or you become very defensive about something or feeling like uh, 
you know, people don't get it. It's like you're taking a stand for something and it's like you're not backing down from it. You're you're wired up and um, it's like you're, you're like, I dare you, you know, I wish you would. You know, it's kind of like that confrontational energy, but you're not afraid of it um, because you feel so convicted in your beliefs about something. And you're just willing to fight for it or sacrifice, make some sort of sacrifices for it. Um, also, I feel like someone, you're going to receive some news from someone. Um, hmm. For whatever reason, I'm feeling like you're not really, you're fighting it or you're fighting against it. Going back to spirituality, I feel like you might be fighting with your own gifts, your intuition. I don't know. You're fighting against yourself for not all of you, but for somebody, I feel like they're fighting against that gift of intuition. Like you don't want to hear it. You don't want to deal with it. I don't know. Maybe because it's too new, you just never dealt with anything like that. It doesn't make sense. So you're just against it. Um, it's like fear of the unknown or something. Now, um, somebody might receive news of someone being pregnant. Or you yourself might be sharing news that you're pregnant, but that somebody doesn't want to hear it. Also, there could be some flirtation from an outsider or someone who's flirting, someone who is uh, a temptress or like with the empress here, a lot of times for me, the empress is someone that is being seductive uh, to someone who they don't always have to be already taken, but a lot of times the Empress does come off as the other woman. And sometimes she's not trying, he or she is not really trying to do that. But the, it's like the other person is trying to come on to them. Like, they're like, yeah, I'm single, I'm available. I can't help it if I look good. I can't help it if, you know, this person is coming on to me. I didn't do anything, you know, and they're just kind of laxed and, um, you know, kind of socking it up. Um, but for some of you, you are the one that is trying to flirt. You're trying to let your, um, make it known that you're single now or you're, you know, you're not attached, but someone is ignoring you. They're not paying you any attention. Um, someone is too caught up into their own emotions or their own feelings or something. Um, Hmm. And again, like I said, it could go either way. There could be someone that's trying to flirt with you or get your attention by making themselves really attractive and smelling good and walking past you and just doing the most, but you're just not into it. You just, just don't care. Um, you're not ready to open up. You're just not ready to share yourself. You might still be going through something from your past. Maybe you're not over an ex, uh, you know, and it's just like you don't care what is in front of you because you're still looking at what you did have. Okay, so remember, guys, uh, this is a general reading, has been a general reading for private readings. Uh, you will email me directly, namat76 at gmail.com. Uh, make sure you guys are uh, leaving your comments. I enjoy reading your comments. Uh, make sure that you're also liking and that you're subscribing to my channel or, or sh you know, also sharing it uh, and recommending me to your friends. Uh, but thank you so much for all of your support and many blessings to you.